Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed my videos up till here for the kind of tips and tricks um, for real care babies. Um, this one is going to be um, uh, if you want to make sure your baby is working and you just got your baby and you have the software, you've got everything installed and you just want to make sure baby works. Um, Excuse me, obviously I didn't do that with Zoan before I made my video. It should have. But anyways, I you go under all babies and you check the baby you want to do this to. So I am going to be doing Danny and you go up to the top and you click maintenance. And right here there is troubleshooting. This is what I am going to go into. And I am going to click start test. And it's going to tell me if he fails or not. Um, we've got bottle, um, neck forward, neck backwards, movement, which should be like rock for rocking or burping. They use the same mechanism in the computer. Rough housing, yellow diaper, green diaper, ID, um, emergency stop, and I cannot remember what the CS is. I honestly cannot remember what that one is. And like these ones where it has NA in them, those are for like the Real Care 3. So it'll have the temperature gauge, um, the outfit. Um, let's see. Uh, this one must be the sleeper. Um, and this one must be like the onesie. Oh. The OT, I think, is like the sensors for like the car seat. I'm not exactly fully sure what all of them are. Um, I know there's the outfit or the two-piece outfit, the onesie, um, the snowsuit, the sleeper for the outfits, and then um, it's got a few more things than a Real Care 2 Plus. So I am going to go ahead and do Danny's. So I'm going to click that start test. And he is going to chime. He's not going to do anything until I physically do it to him. So like right, right now, that's the CS. And I think that, uh, I know it's CS, control software. Okay, I, I really need to go to bed. So here's a bottle. And he will chime every time you do one of them. And on the screen, it'll check it. And I will show you when it's done. Um... Oh, this was the one that I programmed. And there's the cough. See, I think I have two IDs that don't work. So I need to contact RealityWorks to see what's going to happen with those. So it's ID. Neck forward. backward and this is the hard one okay that come up with a rough housing yep um, movement okay if that was movement um, ID we've got ID I need to find my little emergency stop guy. That spot where you use to program the baby, that's actually the emergency stop, so. And then the last one is the green diaper. So I'm just gonna move that. And when he is done, he will coo. And I will bring you back down to the computer when I get him kind of situated. And I went through all of that. And as you can see, everything is a check mark and it's showing he passed. So he passed his bottles, his neck forward, his neck back forward, forward the movement, um, rough housing, yellow diaper, green diaper, ID, emergency stop, and the control center. He will link to that um like i said um 
for the real care three i'm not a when i would have one i could tell you what each one would be but um yeah so this was just a quick video to show you how to troubleshoot your doll to make sure everything is working um i know in the past I think this is how Crystal determined that Veda, her Real Care 2 Plus, wasn't working properly. Um, you can do a troubleshooting with the handheld as well. Um, it's not, it doesn't show up as easily as this one. You kind of have to remember which each thing is instead of like over here where it'll show you a nice check mark. Um, that'll show you when you're done running it. Um, probably should hit stop. Um, but that'll that'll go through and you'll have to remember to do everything as well as um it will show when you go through after you've stopped the test like bottle will have a check mark by it neck forward backwards it'll have checks by them um but yeah like all of them it doesn't show up like this where you can see what it is um so that that i believe or that is how i've also determined in the past where i've gotten a bad baby um how, if it works or not so i hope you enjoyed this video so if you decide to get a new baby and you're having kind of problems with it you can figure out if baby is working correctly or not so um i hope you enjoyed this video and this is going to be the last of the ones with the control center software um the control software I will do some probably next month with the eye or with the handheld. So um, I hope everybody is having a great day and I will see you all later. Bye.